So today, after my uncle left, um, I went off and I got two new fish. Um, I had three orange ones. Um, well, technically one was actually red. So two orange ones and a red one. Um, I originally had four um, and the red one was really, well, there was this one that I called Sunset and the red one, and they were like really, really close and tight. And I used to love watching them follow around, but then Sunset died. Um, and so I had to get another male, um, but that male was pretty much useless. Like I, I seen him a couple of times, like kind of turn upside down and then the fish would like look at him and then just swim off. And it was almost like you could read the fish's mind and they'll be like, what, the, you know, what's, what's this freak doing? And, and then just swim off. So yeah, being rejected by a fish must be pretty bad, but yeah, it, 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 it made a few attempts and it always just failed and didn't actually get that close. Um, and, and then I, I saw it actually trying to attempt to have sex with the guppy, even though it, the red, the orange ones aren't actually guppies. Um, and, um, but yeah, um, I, I bought another male. Um, this one I've gone for an, or an actual red one. So I've got two red ones because one of the one of the, the three females died. Um, um, but yeah, the one I called Cut I had like a cut tail. Um, I don't know what happened, but um, before I bought it, some I don't know something happened to its tail. Anyway, um, so yeah, I've got two orange ones and two red ones. Um, when it comes to my guppies, I've had a bit of a disaster because I had. Um, I, I, yeah, I, I had two, one was pregnant before I arrived, so it wasn't the males. Um, but yeah, he had, I had, they had six babies at the beginning. I think it was easy to catch them at the beginning. Well, it wasn't easy to catch them. I mean, it was easy to, um, to, to stop them from being eaten and catch them, catch them before they got eaten. Um, I think the problem with guppies is that the babies are very, very small. And if you've got a lot of fish in there, they basically just turn into fish food for the rest of the gang. Um, and I feel like that's just nature and how it is. Um, and and yeah, but I, I saved six. And then um, a month later, she got pregnant again. Um, only with the second pregnancy, I was only able to save one. I think it's because I went to London during that, that, that week and I came back and I only saw one. Um, I managed to save that one, put it in a cup and, and put it in the, in the, in the side. But, um, um, but yeah, and then another, I, I noticed though after that one, that bump, that bump didn't go away. Um, so it's like she, it, um, in, it, she got some sort of infection that made her always look pregnant, even if she wasn't. Um, and and then she got pregnant again for the for the third time, and you could see that was happening. So a month ago, I, I bought two new guppies so that the male guppy wouldn't just keep following because he he was just getting horny and horny and hornier. So he's basically just like following her around all the time, and um and always um. Uh, just literally every time you look at them that he was just chasing her around i think she actually liked her though because she wasn't right, running away too fast but um but yeah um and he did make lots of attempts with the, the, the new two um but he never got those ones pregnant um but yeah last week the the one that got kept that got pregnant three times uh, although the third batch um i only managed to catch two and one died after i let it go because i let them go after a week and it was too soon it, one of them got eaten and then um I waited another week and then let the other one out and I don't know that lasted a week and then so it, it's dead basically I'm pretty sure it's bit dead and also the three I had three slugs or snails that I, I you know I saw like two or three days ago I haven't seen them for three days so I don't, I don't know what's happened to them unless they're like pretending to be one of the stones or something but um I don't I, I don't know if they're still in there or not um so weird things are going on in my fish tank but it's quite it's quite nice looking at them um at play I guess um but yeah chase each other around is, is kind of more the more the case um but yeah I've got two another so I've got the the red male today and um the um um and, and another guppy female um because the babies the six babies are pretty much three months now so they're they're almost but there's there's no colour on them so it's really um not that great and it's just it just reminded me in the shops today that you know if if someone thinks that it's it's insulting to call a black person a colored person i feel like that's just really weird because you know if you if you go to a shop to buy guppies you would want the guppies that have the most amount of color on them and so the idea that um people would find it insulting to say that you have color i, I think that's that's just really weird but it's like you're okay calling them black it's just like one they're not black two black is supposed to be like associated with the darkness or something so i i don't know why brown people would prefer to be called black people because Technically, brown is brown and beige is sort of a middle color or tanned. Um, although I was in the sauna today and someone said that, they, you know, they didn't want to ruin their tan. But she was like really dark black or dark brown, dark brown. She was dark brown and it's just like 
I don't know. If you, does, is it called a tan? If I'm sure it's just called darker. If, if you're dark brown and you go slightly darker, is that really called a tan or is that just called you going a bit darker? I, I, just, I don't know. I, I usually associate darkness with or a, a tan with um, like going from white or beige to just a bit darker. But yeah, I, I don't know. Um, and um, and and what else as well? So um, I. Um, um, I forgot.